Good morning you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a very, very exciting project that I'm actually really excited to share with you guys. I just wanna say sorry I was away for a little bit. I actually wasn't really away. It took a, like a small amount of time off and then I filmed a video and then I didn't post the video because like I didn't like what happened in the video. Anyways, it's early and I'm running behind as usual. We got a lot to do today. Today's a very big day. <laughs> Winter's my favorite time to do a trailer brake test because you can literally just lock these bad boys up to make sure they work. You'd just be like, yeet. What is this dude do? He's got a tarp. Morning, Yo, sir. What up? Why do you got a tarp? Because I think we'll put his car cover on and then we'll put the tarp over the car cover to okay. like minimize the road debris. Okay, we got straps. Yeah. You got a random tarp. Random tarp. We got money. Got money. We gotta get some Timmy's, whether that's on the way there or the way back. <laughs> we'll get coffee. <laughs> Let's go. One to ten, how pumped? Okay, yo, I'm so pumped. This is gonna be so sick. How long have you been like waiting for this? Couple days. <laughs> At least it's a good couple days. <laughs> I'm out here just thinking the snow is nice and light, it'll blow off as I drive. <laughs> Dude, we made poo soup. That's so gross. Hey, buddy. What's going on? How's it going, dude? Hey, man. Wanna see it? I got it. Damn. What's the mileage on this thing? Uh, 78,000. What do you think? I think this thing is gonna be wicked to bring onto the channel. I feel like a lot of these guys probably already know what it is just cause I don't know what the title and thumbnail is gonna be, but like most likely they already have a really good idea of what the car is, but regardless, we're gonna tease them for a little bit longer. We can't take it out right now because if you look at what we're dealing with, this thing's on hockey puck summer tires. They literally like, I don't even know if we're gonna get on the trailer, <laughs> be and let alone take it for a test drive. So if we're going off this guy's word. He just ran inside to get the keys. He said he had it running recently, so it should be good. No. <laughs> also the inside of the doors, is still red because the car is wrapped. So everybody's gonna hate this thing just like they hate Jasmine for when you open the car. It's two different colors. Ah. Ooh, healthy start. <laughs> I have such low hopes for getting this thing on the trailer. We're gonna let him put it on because we don't know this car at all and this is a shit show. Nice. We're gonna have to try this another way. Alright, well welcome to Ontario where loading a car is not you can't so buy easy. a car in the middle of winter. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys call this, but <laughs> but, but I call this take two. We got this thing fully sent in winter mode. Dude, this is the most extreme loading and like tarping job I think I've ever done on a car. So please stay. Hopefully this guy works too in the cold. I haven't used this thing in the winter yet. What do we think? It's a light car. We'll say 20 pounds. Just like that, we go, baby. Are you pumped? Yeah, buddy, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm always about to drop F-bombs and I look at the camera and I'm like, you want to just film on the way home? Because I'm going to watch the car this time. I'm going to drive nicely. Honestly, we need a total oh, of like that. four or five clips. Oh, you want to really see me good. rub this? You like this? this? <laughs> Hi, buddy. We made it. Thank yeah. God. Hey, buddy. Hey. This was flopping around a little bit, eh? Yeah. Oh, what? Where'd the tie down oh, go? I, oh, we honestly, lost it. I don't even know because I was, I looked down for a second and then I looked up and it was open. Sorry, sir. So are you are you distracted? Oh, <laughs> I was looking down at something. Something. I'm not sure if you guys saw the, the stinger in a couple of the edits of us driving, um, but Tim came and joined us like halfway. You guys should know Tim. If you don't know Tim. I'm Tim. This is Tim. Before we do anything, yeah. do you want to see what your motor has become? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting yeah, for this. Yeah, because he hasn't seen this I at all. Just... Hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankers. <laughs> hey, Nugget. What's up, girl? What's up? <laughs> Look at her just sink. Yo, this is a lot of firsts because you haven't even been here yet. No, no, stupid yet. COVID. Yeah, I know. This is all new to me. This is yeah. This is nice, nice setup. Hi, right, buddy. Well, welcome. Well, first time seeing the Civic. This one. Really? Yeah, wow. True. I haven't this seen guy, this at all. Wow. Today's just a day of so many firsts. Like, nice. 
It's kind of in rough shape right now, but yeah, well, it looks amazing, man. Yo, I'm so <laughs> happy for Tim. I know. It's like overwhelming right now. This and this, now. this one's kind of a, still a dumpling, but this shifter, I've always wanted one. And now that you have one, and I can actually see it, it's so sexy. It's so nice. It looks better in person than it does online. Everything is better in person, buddy. Check this out. So if you guys remember, when we moved home, Tim had, Tim previously had a, what year was your car? Uh, 2008 Civic. So. Tim previously had a 2008 Civic, and when he had it, he bought a K, this K20, put it in Chris's barn for like a while. And when I moved home, I'm like, yo, if you're not doing anything with this engine, I need it. That's the engine that we pulled out of Chris's barn that has now become this. And Tim hasn't seen it since it was a seat belted <laughs> junkyard <laughs> removal. It's not done yet, but like. I know, but. <sighs> Oh, buddy. Dude. Just have a good, have a good luck. Dude. I got like goosebumps right now. I'll give you a memory. Does this jog your memory at all? <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, this is amazing. I'm glad I went into something like this and you did a really good job on it. Everything's so clean. Uh, He's that. overheating just looking at it. <laughs> He's like, oh boy. <laughs> like, I, can't, I don't even know what to look at, what to say. Well, I'm happy that the engine's put to good use. I'll let you beat it up. All right, before we get any further into today's video, I'll remind you guys that February 24th, having a restock on the Committee Crew Tukes, uh, we're redoing just the gray ones this time. We're having the 3D crew necks. We got holographic stickers, we got jet tags, we got all the good stuff. The number one thing that is coming up for this drop, my hair is gonna look so dumb. We got the signature tee, boys. <laughs> we got our first Committed Crew Scoop tee, and these guys are cool because on the tag, so everything's dated, right? Like you got like winter 2021. On um, these guys, just a nice basic scoop, and then on the rear, on the back, it just says Committed Crew 2021, because they're gonna be on the website all of 2021. So this entire year, I mean, they're, go they're gonna go live on this drop, so I don't know how many we're gonna have left immediately, but our goal is to always have these in stock. Scoop tees are something you guys asked for and something that I'm stoked about. I'm literally throwing all my shirts out and I'm just gonna steal like 20 of these and that's all I'm gonna wear, so. And it's finally something Chris can wear. Because nice. Chris's lanky ass never fits in any of our clothes. <laughs> all right, I feel like we've dicked you guys around long enough. You wanna go get this beast off the trailer? Yeah, I did. thing is a Snickers mobile. This is so small. I love this thing. And for everybody that's always like commenting, telling us to go drive our cars in the winter, or put the Genesis on the road, make it a drift missile, like. Oh, barely get this thing to move now that we got it in here. I'm honestly surprised the Genesis moves as well as it does. I think it's probably because it's fat. Anyways, this guy right here. Chris, can you get your lanky ass beside this? Because I feel like people, <laughs> people see Miatas on the internet all the time. So I measured it, it's, I think, 42 or 44 inches to the top of the windshield from the ground. Really? Yeah. Look at how small this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. For everybody that's never actually had a Miata in person, this will hopefully put it in perspective for you. Pretty much cannot drive the car. No, yeah, after, get in like, it. Like, after what Tim's done to it, right? Like, I could drive it before. There was a point where I could drive it, now I can't really drive it. After what, who did to what? Uh, Timmy. <laughs> so for them, well, but why would Tim do that to our new car? Well, for those of you who haven't caught on yet, <laughs> this is Tim's Miata. If you caught on at the beginning, give Robbie's video a like. <laughs> if you had no idea, drop us a comment and say Timmy Tim. <laughs> I mean, I've showed this video, I've showed this car in videos before, but I knew that a lot of you guys wouldn't have seen it because it was just like little sneak peeks and like really random videos. But this is Tim's car. We are taking it for a little while. And uh, buddy. Yeah. Okay, one sec. First, can we put Chris in it before we get oh, you? Yeah. Can we keep going with what we're doing? <laughs> Chris, get your old tall ass in here. Oh, okay. I meant in the car. I don't know. I'm like, can we get Chris in it? He stands beside you. He's like, okay, pose. Okay, so this is me sitting, foot on the gas and on the clutch. <laughs> and <laughs> close the door. Look That's at the door closed. <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> However, it's a beautiful car. It's it is beautiful. So can we show them the, the, creme, the creme de la creme of this thing? We can, yeah. It's not the, uh, the greatest setup for Hey, 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 hey. No. No, it's not the greatest. No excuses. You have cool shit, you show it off. Damn, dude. That's almost as big as the engine. That's actually, yeah, that's literally almost as big as the engine. Yeah. So this actually comes like this with the kit and whatnot, but what I want to do is, I've seen some people like basically remove a lot of this and 
hook a 90, or like mm. basically a 180. Yeah, just thing, do that. And then have the intake there. We're doing some really cool stuff to this car that it's like the middle of winter and I have the facilities and haven't really hung out with Tim or seen him since I moved home just because COVID. So I would love nothing more than to work on your car with you. Also, can we talk about this hood vent and how this is from a Mustang? Yeah, so it's from a GT500. I think it's 2010 to 14. I'm not the first to do it. I saw it online and I, I thought it was a pretty neat idea. So it turned out really nice actually. Yeah, it does. It's like super, it's actually functional for like air off the rad. I would think so, yeah. I mean, I, whether it does a lot or a little, I'm not sure, but I'd like to think it does something being the rad right there. Yeah, like dude, that looks somebody. sick. I've always been a pop-ups or no pop-ups kind of guy. I've probably talked to your Miata many times. You know what? This thing looks badass. Like I've never actually seen this thing in person. This, I know a lot of you guys don't really know this car and a lot of you guys are probably like, what's going on? But to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, when I lived out west, Tim had a Civic that when me and Emerson came home to visit you and Tim, when we went, wherever the hell we went. Ocean City. Ocean City. When we went to Ocean <laughs> City, we came home and in the video we were boosting around in Tim's Civic and there was a whole shebang, there's a whole video to watch about it on my channel, but basically Tim had a house fire and he lost that car and everything to do with it. And at the time, all I had on hand was like a bunch of committed crew hats. So we sold all the hats that we had and we basically donated the money to Tim when we came here for one of the shows. He used that money to buy these wheels and to buy the coilovers the cars on because essentially it was distraction money. So he got a little bit of insurance money to get the car and then we gave him that money to like, you know, he could work on his car and take his mind off everything else. And you guys have actually helped build this car without really being a part of it. He brought the hat! I brought the hat! Dude. If you guys remember this. Oh my God. At the driven Toronto Driven Car Show, you guys, a bunch of people Look at uh, that. signed it. And That's everything. wicked. So I'm so stoked that you still have that. Oh man, it's staying with me forever. Everybody I've never actually, this is the first time I've worn it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's just pretty good. My room that is. Up. Yeah. So I wanted to actually put it somewhere just while we're doing it. Yeah, a little something, something there. Wow, that's so cool. So yeah, you guys all came to the show and you signed the hat and you know, you bought the merch and we donated it as a distraction fund and it turned out insane, this car. Yeah, it went a little crazier than <laughs> what I wanted to do. Started yeah. with the wheels and the suspension, so thank you for everybody that got me going and spending more money. But yeah, so basically... I mean, just give us, yeah, just give us a rundown, buddy, because it's not like an insane yet. No, no. I but mean... In terms of modifications, it's nothing crazy. ISR exhaust, BC coils, Audhan wheels. I got this CSC uh, roll bar that actually mounts to the floor. Yeah, that looks really nice. Here. The only thing with this is it does eliminate a little bit of room. You lose a little bit of space. <laughs> Your seat is like contoured to the bar. And it, for everybody, so the Corbo DFX seats are really comfy with the harnesses and everything. For those people wondering, they do clear the doors. And you got this wicked wrap. Vivid. Uh, I think it's called Gloss Black Rainbow Metallic. And uh, it's a <laughs> I want to put it on everything. <laughs> it's so nice. That, the seats, Charger. fast forward supercharger. Yeah, sometimes well. Um, with the AM gauges, so I got the oil temp, boost, and AFR. It's just clean, dude. I'm, I appreciate what you've been doing while I've been gone because this is just simple. And for such a tiny ass car, like if you get away from it and you have no size reference to how small the car is, I mean, my lens right now is not very zoomy, but it looks so thick. Like when we were at your house loading this thing up and you were just on the road behind the trailer, like it looks so thick. So this this thing will probably spank the BRZ because it's uh, lighter. It's not geared though for that. It's more for the acceleration. Like Can I'm doing 120 on the highway at like four grand, I think. Jesus. So it's- Do you want to give them maybe a little sneaker into why this is even at my house? I think the Miata is maybe going to gain some weight, get some maybe hips. Lose some weight. Lose some weight, but also get a little thicker. I'd say she's getting thicker. Thicker than a snicker. Oh, and I've been calling it a snicker! <laughs> yeah! She's gonna be thicker than a snicker. Yeah, today was a success. We were very so, worried yeah. about transporting cars in the middle of winter. I learned today that we're gonna put a winch on that trailer. Well, you wanna back this thing up a little bit, and then I'll try and get this big berth out of the way. Sure. And you can just park her here for the night. Hey! She still got it. <laughs> we need to thaw out a little bit. We need to make a plan for what we're gonna do with this thing tomorrow. Clean out these cars. We gotta empty the trailer off. We got a bunch of stuff to do yeah. before we start, but that's all I got for you guys in today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you are not already and you guys stay tuned because we have a couple cool things coming for this Miata that I'm super stoked about and Chris is super stoked oh. about, but I don't think any of us matched him. Tim's tame little energy over here. <laughs> he looks calm, but he's pumped. Oh, I haven't slept. 
like it was, <laughs> I haven't slept. <laughs> He's Dude, like, I just been laying like awake. Last night I was all anxious and everything like that. And yeah, today I feel better. But yeah, look at you Canadians in your flannels. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed. Excuse me, sir, this isn't your car anymore. Can you just relax a little bit, please?